Welcome back to another video with IDN TV. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe with the bell notifications on. If you're a returning member of IDN community, make sure you hit the like button. Let's get right into it. Oh yeah, make sure you use the timestamps in the description and in the comments below. That way you don't waste time. You get exactly where you want to go in the particular video. You don't waste any time. Now let's get back into the news. Now we have part two of Alpo Martinez. Now, a lot of people in the comments were asking me, why is Alpo so big? Why is the culture really following this whole story now long story long alpo was one of the biggest kingpins in harlem new york to this day now what makes it interesting is he was really about that life he's on paper responsible for over 14 people passing away and that's just on paper now here is a small background of alpo according to the government now he was arrested november 7th in 1990 now he faced it drug charges and 14 counts of somebody passing away, including DeMarco Benio. I do apologize if I'm saying that name incorrectly, but Mano actually posted this picture the night of the news of Alpo passing away. Now, if you put two and two together, I guess the guy was from New York or Brooklyn. Mano's from that area. So he's saying, happy Halloween. I know you're smiling down right now. So you put two and two together, Mano was saying that he was responsible for this guy's passing. Now. According to the government and according to the reports, they're saying that Alpo snitched on members of his own organization, including Wayne Perry, who was sentenced to five consecutive years without the possibility of parole. Now, on one hand, Alpo being notorious in the streets of really about that life, you can't do anything or say anything out of pocket to him. He snitched on, you know, his crew. He snitched on people in D.C. So it was kind of like an oxymoron, like a lot of people were saying. You can't really say nothing to him, but he's not living by the code. Meek Mill also, after the news coming out, said this about Alpo. He spoke in, you know Meek Mill, he pretty much speaks in code. Now he put this on his Twitter. He says, y'all snakes dying out with the jewels. Now he posted this October 31st at 6.36 p.m. So like I said, Alpo was officially labeled and announced around three o'clock that morning. So he had time to put two and two together. Now it was rumored that Alpo was currently dating Diddy's baby mama. And she was one of the people that were trying to get Alpo a deal, just a documentary about his life on his own terms. A lot of people created documentaries about him. A lot of people talked to the people that knew him, but he wanted to create his own. And they're saying that the script was already written and is gonna be released or pitched to Netflix. So I think with this passing, it's definitely gonna get accepted by the networks that were probably iffy about it, but definitely, is going to come out now now i know you guys want to get to the nitty-gritty now they're saying that the reason that alpo wasn't officially announced on the internet was because he had a different name now he had a different name because he was in witness protection now if you guys don't know anything about witness protection it's pretty much for the informants that leave the prison and they want to be identified and live a better life um especially high profile cases when you snitched on a lot of people now they were saying alpo's id said abraham rodriguez now that was the reason that it took so long to confirm because they didn't know his alias name now they were saying that he was living in maine um and the address was 100 160 college street now the witness protection can give you all the addresses and all the aliases that you want but it seems like alpo was definitely not worried about changing his aliases as you can see the video i posted before it showed him riding his motorcycle it showed him connecting with the people in harlem And here is an exclusive picture. Now, this picture is of Alpo last night, right, right before he got in that 2017 Dodge Ram. And it shows him he's dressed up for Halloween. Looks like he has a Louis Vuitton face mask, a leather face mask with the jacket and the lemon pepper stuffers. A lot of people call them lemon pepper stuffers, but he was definitely fly. Um, but this was the last picture of Alpo, unfortunately. You guys check it out. Now, so it's so similar. I feel like this whole witness protection and this whole internet and just the whole scheme of people being on the internet i feel like this is going to be the same thing 
unfortunately that's going to get up with 69 now everybody would think that alpo passed away because of what he did to someone before but at the end of the day maybe somebody you got to think like they said they were accusing him of 14 bodies on paper imagine the people imagine the families that were affected by it and they know that alpo did it people fail to realize he had a good run in the 80s from the beginning of the 90s he served 25 years so he got out in 2015 2015 to 2021 is about six years it could have been somebody catching up with him from prior history or it could have been new people but at the end of the day everybody's saying you know he messed up a lot of families he messed up a lot of he broke up homes and things like that so a lot of people are celebrating alpo passing but it is what it is i want to say something about this actual scene now it looks like alpo or whoever ran up on homie was no, they knew what they were doing they weren't nervous and i want to say this i feel like the grouping of the actual you know what i'm trying to say the grouping is very close that means that this person that actually did it was not nervous and they're trained especially inside of a car so it's making me think somebody actually walked up and did it from a car a dodge ram sitting up it wouldn't make sense for it to be that grouping so good but who knows but my honest opinion i feel like somebody walked up and they wasn't afraid to be caught they wasn't afraid for somebody to see them and they wanted to get him out of the way now they did have a video it shows a guy outside of the club i don't know if he was actually there so i want to give you guys a discretion now he's hearing four actual shells being let off and alpo's car is five now the rumor is saying that it was four at this particular location and then he alpo actually tried to escape and go to the precinct they said another shell was discovered around the precinct area so four plus one equals five he has five holes in his window so you guys check it out so let me know how do you think about this do you think this was a coincidence i mean honestly i highly doubt it halloween this guy's out alpo's out unfortunately to the uh he tried to drive either he was trying to drive to get help or he was trying to drive to get him off of him but maybe that last actual shell was the result of him passing away so yeah in the grand scheme of things man alpo lived a great life for about five to seven years like i said in the 80s he was popping and then in the 90s he served 25 years and then when he got out he had what six years and i'm sure he wasn't making the money that he was making in the 80s so kids if anybody's listening to this anybody got kids anybody that's pursuing or thinking this is cool or cute you could trade 30 years in federal prison state prison and come home and ball for five or you can stay on the streets and live a modest life, save up your money, start your own business for the next 30 years and five years of just getting it together and building your business and you don't have to look over your shoulder. So that's it. that's a key thing to the youth and key things to the people that's frustrated. I know, you know things is going on, but listen, thanks so much for getting to the end of the video. I will keep you guys posted. This part two for the Alpo Martinez or also known to the government as, as Abrian Rodriguez. I will catch you on the next video. As always, make sure you subscribe with the bell notifications and listen, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. We'll get you on the next video. Adi and signing out.